Let Garmin assist getting you started with your diesel OTR 610 or 710 GPS truck navigator. Your diesel OTR 610 or 710 device will come with a vehicle suction cup mount, vehicle power cable, vehicle power adapter, and USB-C cable. Let's begin by going over the diesel OTR hardware. The power button is located on the back of the device in the top right corner. This is used for powering the device on and off. On the bottom of the device is the USB-C port, which is used for connecting to a power outlet in the vehicle with the included vehicle power cable. This port is also used for connecting to a computer or AC adapter with the included USB-C cable. Your micro SD card can be inserted into the slot next to the USB-C port. Using a micro SD card will provide additional storage space for maps and other data. Now that we have covered the hardware basics, let's go over mounting and powering the device. Determine where you would like to mount the device on the windshield. Then clean the area with rubbing alcohol and a clean microfiber cloth. It is your responsibility to ensure the mounting location complies with all applicable laws and ordinances and does not block your view of the road during the safe operation of your vehicle. Press the suction cup to the windshield and flip the lever back toward the windshield to secure it. Then press the mount onto the suction cup ball until it snaps into place. Next, plug the vehicle power cable into the USB-C port on the device. Plug the other end of the vehicle power cable into the vehicle power adapter. Then plug the vehicle power adapter into a power outlet in your vehicle. Lastly, fit the tab on the top of the mount into the slot on the back of the device and press the bottom of the mount into the device until it clicks. We are now ready to begin the initial setup of the device. Choose your locale and select OK. Then choose a language and select OK. Read and accept the end user license agreement. You can connect the Diesel app to access additional features including live traffic updates, smart notifications, and hands-free calling. For more assistance, check out our videos on pairing your Diesel OTR device to the Diesel app. Next, you can connect to an available Wi-Fi network. Select the network you would like to connect to. If necessary, enter a password and select Done. If you do not have Wi-Fi or do not want to connect at this time, select Skip. You will be asked for your consent for Garmin to collect, use, and share your device data. Select either yes or no. Select email address and enter your email to register your device. Select offers and promotions if you want to receive promotional emails from Garmin. Then select continue. Then read and agree to the warning. Now we will need to create a vehicle profile. Routing and navigation are calculated differently based on your vehicle profile. It is critical that you are as accurate as possible when entering your vehicle information. Select your vehicle type. In this video, we will be selecting the tractor option. The following options may differ depending on which vehicle you select. Next, select your trailer configuration. Select or enter your vehicle's maximum height, then select Next. Then enter your vehicle's maximum width. Enter the total length of your vehicle. This will include any trailers. Then enter the total weight of your vehicle. This includes the weight of the load you are carrying. Ensure the actual weight of the vehicle has been set for the total weight on the profile and not the maximum possible weight of the vehicle. Setting the profile for the maximum possible weight may result in unneeded restrictions. Select any hazardous materials that you are carrying or select none and press next. Your basic vehicle profile has been created. The wrench button is used to edit information and add additional vehicle information such as axle weight. Ensure that the rest of the trucking profile information is accurate to avoid incorrect routes. Press select to continue to the main screen. The initial setup has now been completed. If necessary, go to an open area with a clear view of the sky to acquire satellite GPS signals. 
Lastly, let's check for available updates to your device. You can use a computer in Garmin Express if necessary, but the Wi-Fi option requires fewer steps. To successfully complete a Wi-Fi update, a wireless connection to home high-speed internet is required. It is important to avoid using a mobile hotspot. Check out our Wi-Fi connections video for tips to ensure your Wi-Fi update is successful. From the main screen, select Settings. Then select Updates. Your device will automatically search for available map and software updates. A blue download arrow indicates an update is available. A green check mark indicates it is up to date. Select Install All to start all available updates. Read the important installation notes and select Start. If you have not connected your diesel OTR to a power source, you will now be prompted to do so. Follow the on-screen prompts. These updates will take an extended period of time. You will not be able to use your device during the update. Once the update has finished downloading, wait for the device to restart. Your diesel OTR610 or OTR710 is now ready to use. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.